Hey friends, it's Brian here and it's time for another Jeep video in my rebuild of a salvage Jeep. So uh, today I'm going to be putting some cable clamps onto the fuel line. Let's, let's crawl in here and I'll show you what I'm going to do. So in the process of having the framework done, they pulled the line out. And unfortunately, once they've been pulled out, they don't go back in. So there was a clamp here and a clamp, uh, where is it? right there and um deep in their stupidity and infinite wisdom does not sell this stupid little plastic bracket and no one has seen fit to make one i know it would be just entirely too fucking easy for somebody to make these and sell them but they don't and so after consulting with the interwebs um the most logical solution is to install a cable clamp so that's what i'm gonna do today and i'm gonna uh, test out some new stuff. Um, I will put a link in the description to the items that I'm using in case you have this problem and need to do this as well. Um, and with that, let me get set up and I'll be back in a few minutes. And I, I think this is a pretty quick and easy fix. Um, so anyway, we'll be, let's get it done. All right, so to make this work, we've got a few things. First, we're gonna need some cable clamps, got those thread lock, quarter 20 screws, an Allen wrench, and I'm going to try a drill tap. Never used one of these, but it might make it easier. So first let's figure out what size cable clamps we need. 3 8 has been rumored to be it, um, so we'll see. First thing we want to do is just see does this does this fit? Yeah, that one fits. What about this one up here? It's a little looser. So let me see what else we got. We've got the next size down, which is 5 16 That's a better fit. So we'll do a quarter, a 5 16 and a 3 8 and then we'll deal with one at the bottom later. Let me get some gloves. The other thing that's a good idea is some eye protection because I am drilling and I'm working overhead and yeah, just stupid shit can happen. So we're gonna put it right next to the existing mount. And let's see how this drill tap works. The answer to that question is slowly. It works very slowly. Um, I'm gonna see if I can find something. Uh, yeah, I'd rather not drill in between them. All right, well, I'm just gonna go back to what I was doing here. It's just making my arms tired. Yeah, that's just uh, making my arms start. I am slowing down on purpose to see if I get more chips out of it. Uh, slow is generally better for high-speed steel bits, and this is a high-speed steel uh, bit. 
High speed steel refers to the type of material the tool is made of. be a big deal if I wasn't working upside down it just uh, makes my hands tired quickly <laughs> um, so I'm actually I do want to pry these loose and up out of my way well maybe not it doesn't matter but surely it is making a hole in the frame. The frame is 3 16 material. It's, it's probably metric, but 3 16 is really close. In theory, that just threaded a hole at the same time we were drilling it. Let's put a bolt or not a screw in and see if it worked. Now I happen to like cap screws and I happen to like quarter 20, so that's what I'm using. I'll be damned it worked. That's fucking amazing. Um, okay, that's really, really amazing. Let me get these metal shavings out of my way before I have to crawl in them. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this one out. <sighs> Son of a bitch. It's actually a really good clamp. It's, uh, I would happily have replaced it if it had been available. You know, this is the part that once it's stripped out, it won't go back in. Recycle. Okay, so we're going to put the other one there. Well, apparently it's fucked up back here too, so we'll go ahead and do this one while we're at it. Yep, that one's fucked up too. So all of these are going to get replaced today. Let's see if we can just... out of the way so we need to put one here and really want those up out of my way before I drill so let me get something to stick them up out of the way okay so what you use can be just about anything so but I happen to have uh, an extension here that I think will do an acceptable job uh, so we just have to figure out how to get it in here. That works. Well, that works just fine. And now, of course, it's time for eye protection because we're about to drill overhead. And the last thing I need is metal shavings in my eyes. Uh, it's a little hard to put them on with... Uh, 
I have click style readers which are really awesome and these goggles fit over my readers so that's great where I can see. For a little break. Whew. That is uh, a real upper body workout. Holding the drill up and pushing real hard on the frame to make the drill work. hurt anything for there to be metal shavings in here but I don't like the idea of metal shavings floating around on the bottom of my Jeep um, as they say nothing good will come of that so I'm gonna put a paper towel down to collect them is not <sighs> time for another little break
the magic part. That is just absolutely fascinating. <sighs> I need to put another one in, but um, let's do the one in the back next. To illustrate my point that almost anything will work, um, well, it will if, it, if you can put the stuff somewhere. Um, I, I actually don't have enough flexibility in the lines back here, so I'm gonna have to drill through them. get a nice view of this one. I can also put a lot more pressure on it back here because I have more room to work. Even so, I still have to pause and rest because it's a lot of work under here. And that's what you don't want to happen. I just broke a bit off. Uh, let me see if I can drive it through. Probably am fucked. Yeah, got to put a new one in. All right, let me uh, change bits and I'll be right back. Okay, so, you know, those uh, bits were not very expensive because it's the first time I've ever tried to use them. So we're going to move over a little bit and drill another hole. And we'll be a little more careful this time because, yeah, we don't want a repeat of that. my battery is dying even though I've only been drilling for a few seconds and it's a fresh battery.
All right, that's not really the place to have a battery die. <sighs> that's frustrating. But I've owned this drill set forever and I hardly ever use it, so I'm not surprised that I'm having battery issues. On the bright side, Home Depot does warranty the tool and the battery for lifetime. So in theory, I should be able to re re return this underperforming battery. Gosh, damn it. Yeah, shocks are what break these and that was a shock. So that's two for two. I think it's time for a different drill. All right, try three. Now, this one's sticking out, so let me see if I can retrieve it. I'm gonna get a pair of vice grips. I might be able to get that tap out, but I wouldn't count on it. All right. So first things first, let's see if vice grip can do something useful today. Um, again, I have very, very little confidence that this will work, but it's worth a shot. Yeah, I got a piece of it, all right. And that's normally what happens. When these things jam, they jam good. So that's all right. They weren't very expensive and bought several of them. So let's try with a different drill. And successful. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to put a second one in. I gotta stop for my hands again. Okay. Those are done. Let me uh, clean up and then I'm going to do the ones on the front and get the second set done. All right. Shit. A little bit more. 
space would be nice. Um, so I decided I'm gonna actually go ahead and just put this together because um, it, the front isn't as important. Like I, I have the flexibility up there and I wanna just get this done back here and be done with it. So I'm gonna double up on my um, aggravation. That's what I'm gonna double up on. Okay. This doesn't take a whole lot of thread locker. It doesn't matter if some of it runs down. Um, I'm using a uh, quarter 20 half inch. I think that's more than enough. Um, this is not a high uh, torque implement uh, location. In fact, it should be a no torque location. irritating so we'll just we'll win eventually I can only work overhead for so long with my fingers uh, before they start to go numb and this one's given me more problems than I would like so I'm gonna switch to a three-quarter inch bolt continues to bug me, I'm going to put a driver on it. I don't understand why this is being all, this one, this one in particular is just bent. Yeah, I'm gonna go get a driver, I'll be right back. So, shouldn't need this, but this is just easier on my hands. There we go, it's snug. That's all it needs to be. And that's that's a great fix for this. So let me see what this is. Uh, I wanna say it was quarter inch line, and then I need to zip tie this back. I don't think there's anything magical about these uh, cable clamps other than I think uh, it's a necessity to buy, um, you know, stainless steel. Past that, I think they're all probably made in the same cheap-ass factory. And Gina! As my Hispanic friends would say, hecho en Gina.
understand the misalignment here that I'm having on all these. So quarter inch is not perfect, but it's close enough. just needs to be snug so even though I broke off two bits it doesn't matter I paid like I don't know seven dollars with free shipping for five of the damn things um, maybe it's ten dollars whatever it was it was dirt cheap and this is perfect um, and that's a lot faster than drilling and then tapping separately where you run the same risk of breaking the taps so um, let me get some nippers and cut this and re-zip tie I'll be right back with zip ties so we're going to clip this off and send it to recycling. Back to Trinet goes. And then because this is uh, an important wire, I actually want it up out of the way. So I'm going to tie it to the fuel line on the supply side and then I'm actually going to zip tie it a second time so I, I really want it up out of the way. Uh, let me go get a second zip tie and I'll be right back. Yeah, these zip ties go together better when they're right side in and not right side out. There we go. Alright, so we'll see you in the next uh, video segment up front. Alright, so we're going to start by putting the thread lock in. Uh, drop will do you. And then The larger line gets the five, three eighths, and the smaller line is a five sixteenths, which is one sixteenth of an inch smaller. So I'm just slipping these on, and then I'm going to move them into the approximate location and close them. All right, and now I'm going to sit here and fight with this, trying to get the bolt to go through. Yeah, this is just, uh, it's something to do with the way these clamps are bent. Actually, it is exactly what that problem is. Let's see if I can fix it. And um, the issue is that these these holes just don't line up um, so you've got to uh, basically thread the screw in and pull it uh, tight and that's just a lot of extra work um, it's a defect in the way they're bent
Okay, so got the one side in. See if we can get the other side in without too much of a hassle. And the headache here is I just can't see what I'm doing besides fighting with <clears throat> All right, I give up. I'm gonna change tactics. I'll be right back. So, <laughs> that's what I should have done from the beginning, is Now I can check the snugness with a ratchet. Oh yeah, that's more than enough. I don't want. I want to be real careful because it's real easy to strip the uh, the threads on this. All right. So now we need to put a second one in here. And uh, let me rearrange some cabling back here. All right. I'm not as worried about this location because it is quite protected. Uh,
still got to rest my hands. Let's see if we can get this done. It is producing chips. This, you know, again, high speed seal isn't the sharpest. I'm not lubricating it. So, all these things uh, take a toll on the efficiency. Um, and I'm operating at an awkward angle. This is probably the hardest point to drill the frame. If this time is the charm. Be right back. All right, my darlings, let's get this done. Drop of uh, thread lock. Yep, that's all it takes. And again, a quarter inch cable clamp. We're going to bring in like that. And then bad things with a drill. This is really not the right way to start a screw. But again, it's not going to matter for these. The key to peace here is to be really careful not to over torque this because these aren't what I would refer to as quality threads. They're utility threads. And it'd be really easy to pull them out. So that really fixes this problem. We've got one more to do. Let me clean up this mess, reposition everything, and we'll be right back. Okay, just like we've done on the last couple of these, we're going to repeat the same process where we, uh, or where I,
put thread lock in the in the hole. Creates clamp there and a five sixteenths clamp there. And we're in about the right spot. So now for the part that everyone hates, at least everyone here, which would be me, getting this to thread. Oh, that's gonna be a pain in the ass. All right, I'll be right back. I gotta change tactics. All right, well, it's kind of interesting. I hardly ever get to use this tool, and it's a little bit persnickety, but we'll see. I don't know what the hell's going on with these today. I mean, normally this is, these things are really reliable. being reliable today. Looks like we got everybody here. There we go. That's where it needs to be. That's probably not the right way to have done that. through the the uh, brackets but it and it did cross start a little bit but I don't think it's gonna matter yeah this doesn't this just holds the fuel lines in place and I mean for crying out loud it used to be a, a fucking you know squeeze clip all right um so we need to put another one in here I want to put it there, further back. Let me see if I can even get this up in here. How the hell did I do this last time? Oh, but there isn't room. Oh, I guess I'm going to have to get out the drill that doesn't really like to drill. And see if I can drill. Hmm. Alright. I'm right back. Let's see if we can get this one done. Oh yeah, this drill is just a little bit smaller, so it'll fit in here. But we're gonna switch to second gear and go fast. Ain't no way this battery's dead. It just came off the fucking charger. Alright, 
let's try the other battery. This is why I don't know a bunch of rigid tools, by the way. I gotta rest. So it looks like I have a bad battery. Um, we'll find out if the if the lifetime warranty is my lifetime or theirs. Um, I don't expect shit. Um, but again, this is why I don't own a bunch of rigid tools as they do this, and their selection is not that great, and DeWalt makes better tools. Uh, if I had to do it all over again, uh, I'd buy Milwaukee. I think they're a better tool, and I think they have better specialty tools. Alright, we are getting ready to... Let me clean up. I'll be back in a minute. All right. Uh, this is we're right there in the home stretch. Uh, dabble do you? And then a little more aggravation. Uh, a lot more aggravation because I left the drill up there. Let me grab it. Got the clutch loosened up a little bit. Uh, we're going to come back with a half inch bolt. <laughs> no, we ain't, because it doesn't fit. Damn it. All right, well. Let me see what we can do by hand. And again, it's just it's just an issue the way this is bent. It's not bent right. So it sits there and fights with you and you have to twist it to get it in and then you have to thread it like this, which honestly isn't the end of the world. It's just you're, it, when you're doing two of them, it's, it's aggravating. it right there there's no reason all of these shouldn't have been doable by hand just like I'm doing this one um, but it's a whole lot easier to do this with a ratchet for me um, with having uh, side effects and having got carpal tunnel issues. All right, there we go. That's it. This project is done. Uh, I've got some place I want to bend that out. I am allergic to rattles and a line sitting up against the frame is going to rattle. I realize it's a Jeep, but I want to still Last thing I want is to go down the road and that'll drive me fucking nuts. I don't trust that. I don't think this vacuum hose should be um, twistable like that. Let me see if I can find a clamp. I think I got an extra one. Well, folks, I unfortunately do not have an extra hose clamp, so I'm going to order some hose clamps for that. Um, and, uh, you know, that's it. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this helpful. And uh, I'm actually going to order a couple hose clamps because I see another spot where I could put one. Um, but uh, I think I hope you found this helpful, and uh, hopefully this helps you solve this problem if you've got, you know, fucked up plastic brackets on your Jeep that hold your vapor line and your fuel supply line and your rear brake line. 
Um, and uh, thanks for watching. Hey, if you enjoyed this and you watched this far, hit the like button. Um, subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell icon. You'll find out when I release new videos. And let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks.